Hello everybody, this is Chaplain Bob. Listen, um, in case I get deleted off the tube, you can find me on revelation 114.com. That's revelation 114.com. You could say thank you to the webmaster for uh, putting this up because I know one day I'm going to be gone from YouTube. But uh, I think I'm going to take a break for a while from YouTube. I've done, you know, I've got probably 900 and something studies. And uh, you should hit the playlist. The playlist is really good, some good material that was common knowledge 100 years ago, but today it's considered a heresy. What can I tell you? But uh, I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start working on my book. And uh, unless, you know, I'm going to put the book out there probably chapter by chapter for free. But if somebody wants a printed copy, well, you know, that'll probably cost. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is weave a bunch of Bible doctrines into it in how I think an idea of how things in the end times are going to play out based upon history in the past and what the Bible says for the future. I mean, I, you know, it's just going to be a, a guess. But, uh, you know, the Bible gives you a lot of clues and history, you know. And the thing is, Satan's got a plan. And, you know, when your plan works, you don't change nothing. I mean, that's, that's how it is in sports. You know, when you got a game plan and it works, you don't change nothing. When it quits working, well, then you change something. But, uh, so, I'll be on uh, revelation114.com. So, if I kind of disappear for a while, um, you'll know why. I'll still try to answer comments. I spend hours answering comments every day. I mean, really, I do. So, you know, it's... Um, I stay pretty busy. So, plus I'm working a full-time job. So, that's how that goes. But uh, there'll be some really, really useful information in the book. Um, things about, like, edible plants, um, how to purify and procure water, and things you would need for survival. Because, let's face it, the future of the church is going to be the wilderness. I mean, a lot of people don't realize it. Matter of fact, the great majority of people have no idea. They, they think just one day, one second, they're going to fly up in the air and go to heaven. And there's, you know, and they're just going to disappear. Planes are going to crash because the Christian pilots are gone and cars are going to smash up. Because, you know, there's no drivers in them. And yeah, that's the kind of garbage that the modern church world and Hollywood has been feeding them. And let me tell you something. When the churches agree with Hollywood, you know something's wrong. I mean, let's face it. Everything Hollywood does is the opposite of what the Bible says. So, the Bible says the sky is blue and... and Hollywood agrees with them. You better look outside and make sure, because, yeah, they're devils. Uh, all right, well, you know, um, I'm going to try to, I, I think the book is going to uh, be useful for those in the end times. I don't know, I don't know if I'll make it or not. I'm getting up there in years, but, uh, you know, maybe some young people, uh, knowledge that's been lost. You know, our ancestors, a lot of knowledge has been lost. You know, you can store a lot of vitamins, but you can't store vitamin C. Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, 
And when people were doing, uh, when our ancestors were on ships crossing the Atlantic, uh, they were getting a thing called scurvy, which is a vitamin C deficiency. I mean, your gums would bleed, your teeth would fall out, I mean, and your bones would basically rot. And, you know, you would, you would slowly die. But that's why the English, when they discovered, they took lime trees with them on the ships, and then they would cut the limes and squeeze them and put the lime juice in water and then drink it. That's why they were called limeys. Well, that prevented scurvy. Well, guess what? When our ancestors came to America, uh, they discovered that you could take pine needles, take water, warm it, not boil, warm it up, and then do what is called steeping. Steep, you would steep the pine needles in the warm water, hot water, you know, warm, hot, whatever, not boiling, and let it sit for a few minutes, and you could drink that, you could get vitamin C from it. You know, so, uh, you know, that's that could save your life over a period of time. Of course, I believe, I really honestly believe that when the church has to go into the wilderness, and you'll know the time, if the Antichrist over in the Middle East uh, build their little temple for their Messiah, who uh, goes by many names, the man of sin, son of perdition, the beast. Um, as soon as he, a Bible says, as soon as he goes into the temple uh, proclaiming himself as he's God, leave. Uh, this is not a theological study. If you want to learn where that is, go, go look at my End Times Education playlist. I cover all this stuff. Matter of fact, I've beat that, that verse to death. But, uh, you know, it'll be time to go into the wilderness. And it would be prudent to have, you know, some supplies away from the house. Because, I don't know, it's just my thought. But, uh, you know, there's uh, my, I believe that the Lord is going to supply f food and water to his church, just like he did when Israel, our ancestors, left Egypt and went into the desert, into the wilderness. Their clothes lasted 40 years. Can you imagine having a pair of shoes last 40 years? Boy, I'll tell you what, I'd like to have that, right? And uh, he gave them water and rained manna, uh, manna from heaven. I think that's going to happen again. So, all right, well... Um, I, I've I got to start working on this book. You know, I've done so many. I've done hundreds, hundreds of Bible studies. Hundreds of them. So, uh, you know, originally I started doing slideshows. So I got, finally I broke down and bought a microphone. And, uh, but everything from, I think it was Jonah was one of the, first Bible studies I did with a microphone, uh, Jonah and the Whale. And uh, from that point onward, if you look at the dates, they're all audios. So what can I tell you? Um, and I think one day, just, you know, I'll be gone from the YouTube. Matter of fact, I'm surprised I'm still there. You know, I'm approaching 7,000 subs and uh, uh, one and three quarter million hits in the last, I don't know, I've been up for 10 years. So, but I'm just a little gnat in their ears. So, all right, well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. And that's Jesus, who is the Christ, in his precious, precious name. Amen. Remember, revelation114.com. And say thank you, Jeff.